guys, welcome to video number two for the Canon EOS 60D tutorials. Remember these series of tutorials are going to be based around the menus and getting to know the camera. Um, for actual photography tutorials please go on and check my other channel which I run with a good friend of mine, Mark Bodie, called New to Photo. Okay, one thing to note, I have currently set up on the 60D the battery grip. I'll do a separate video about this battery grip so don't worry about that and any of these buttons you can see here. I also have a microphone which is recording the audio for this video. So what we'll do is we're going to have a look at these menu items and menu options in manual mode. The reason is if we switch the camera into the green square fully automatic mode we have a very very limited number of menus and we can't access the custom functions because everything's all set up for you the camera does all the work. So because all of these are available in the full menus in manual mode, aperture priority and shutter priority, basically the more advanced shooting modes, we're going to concentrate there so we can get all the menu items covered. Now remember on the 60D for the mode dial to switch your mode that you are in, you have to press the lock and release there before the mode dial will turn. Some people hate it, some people like it. Uh, personally, I don't mind. Um, with my other camera not having a locking dial, I do sometimes forget. But there we go. Okay, so we're going to have a look at these few menus first. Now, just quickly, these menus, you've got the red uh, tabs here are the shooting menus. The blue tabs are the playback and print menus. Um, you have um, the settings in the yellow tabs here. Custom functions in the orange tab. And on the green tab, which is the very, very end one. Okay, that's your My menu where you can register um, rel um, relatively regularly accessed options rather than having to delve into menus to find them every time you can register ones that you use quite a lot so we'll have a look at the first shooting menu red menu number one and first we'll have a look at quality now the 60d is an 18 megapixel dslr and it obviously it shoots raw you can also shoot raw plus jpeg as well so i can tell it to shoot full resolution raw plus large fine jpeg or large not so fine normal jpeg Okay, I've not really noticed a massive difference in the quality between those two, but I rarely shoot JPEG anyway, so rarely use it. For the RAW modes, you have Medium RAW, which is, um, I'll just get rid of that, which is 10 megapixels. Okay, and you have S RAW, oops, wrong button, S RAW, which is 4.5 megapixels there. Now I'm using the front dial. To change the raw, it tells you which commander dial to use, okay, which is the one just near the shutter release, and this back wheel to control JPEG. You can, of course, shoot any combination of the size of raw files and the JPEGs that you wish. These later small resolution JPEGs are typically for use when it's just really, really small print, small web use. Um, these days, I've, I can't really see much use for them, but they're there should you want to use them. Now typically my camera is set on RAW and I rarely shoot JPEG so it just stays on RAW. Okay, the next one down we see here the beep. Now this is the auto focus confirmation beep. Um, it's not going to work at the moment because the camera it does have a lens on it and um, it's just too close to the wall to actually focus plus it's a plain white wall so there's no contrast so it won't lock on any, onto anything anyway. Now you can either have the beep disabled or enabled and it's where you just get a little bit of a beep beep confirmation of autofocus. Um, I personally prefer to shoot with it on, although in certain situations at events and so forth I will turn it off and just make sure the camera has locked focus by watching for a little green light you will see on the bottom right hand side of your viewfinder as you look through it. It will light solid when it's locked focus and it will flash when it hasn't attained focus. Okay, so we'll go back into there. Uh, release shutter without card. Now this is an option which you can either turn on or off and you tell the camera whether to release the shutter with the card in or, or without a card in. Now the good thing, no, the reason to have this actually um, disabled is so that you're not actually able to fire a shot without a card being in. So therefore there's no risk of you taking a lot of pictures and there's no memory card in so you're getting the, the initial previews which is shown from the buffer and then there's nothing <laughs> so I usually 
have that disabled so my camera needs to have a card in to be able to shoot. Okay, image review. And that's either show the image for 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 8 seconds, hold it indefinitely, or turn the image review off. Mine usually set on 4 seconds, so as I'm shooting, once I'm dialing given my exposure, I can just have a quick check on the back and the preview and say, okay, I'm fine, and then I can shoot, and the rest of them generally I'll, I'll ignore then. So we'll go back. Peripheral illumination correction. And you can see the 60D has the 35mm f2 lens attached at the moment, and it uh, doesn't actually have any correction data available. Now, peripheral illumination data is um, where the camera will lighten up the corners of the frame where you will see vignetting, which is just some light darkening of the corners and light fall off at the edge of the frame. It's more apparent when you're shooting full frame cameras, but it does still appear on crop sensor cameras as well. Um, I usually have this left enabled. Um, I just always have done on my cameras. I've never really bothered changing it and the reason why the 35 f2 doesn't have any illumination correction data is because it's a 20 year old design and it's just not had any data made for it i'm get the feeling they're going to update this lens at some point um but i'm perfectly happy with this one so there we go red eye reduction now this is disabled and um, what this does it fires a little pre-flash first a little burst of flash to close the retina of the eye to make red eye less apparent or less of a problem when shooting direct on axis to the camera lens flash that's with the pop-up flash that is on the 60D as well or a on-camera mounted speed light as well um, personally the pre-flash is very annoying it's annoying for, the, for your subjects that are in front of your camera so I would favour leaving it turned off uh, because you can easily deal with removing red eye in post-production either in Photoshop, in Lightroom and other software as well so that's not really something that I use. Okay, and what we'll do now, um, we'll finish this video there, and I'll go into the flash control menu in the next video. The reason is it's quite in depth and has quite a few options. So that's just the first tab, or the majority of the first tab, on the shooting menu for the Canon EOS 60D. And there's gonna be a fair few videos in this series. I don't wanna make each one too long. If you do have any questions, please stick them in the comments below, chuck me an email, either by YouTube or my website, and I will get back to you as soon as I can do. Remember, don't forget to read your manuals, get to know your camera, you can sit there playing with the options, get to know the layout of the body, and it's going to help you um, a lot with your photography, um, because the gear that you use will not be a barrier, and you'll, you'll know where the switches are, what the dials do as well. For any other photography tutorials about the photography techniques, off-camera lighting, please go and check out newtofilter.com and the new to Photo YouTube channel. We hope to see you over there and I will catch you guys in the next video.